Welcome to the another video of Cricket Thrill. Maninder Singh is a former Indian cricketer player and a cricket commentator. He represented India in 35 test matches and 59 ODI international. With his slow left arm orthodox spin, Maninder Singh was considered as an heir to the Bishan Singh Bedi, who then held the record as India's leading spinner in terms of wickets. Maninder Singh retired prematurely due to personal reason. Singh holds the record for the most test in a complete career without aggregating 100 runs. Maninder Singh began his career playing against Pakistan at Karachi in December 1982. His last match was against Zimbabwe in May 1993. He was regarded as an heir apparent of the legendary Bishan Singh Bedi, and at the height of his career, he was reputed to possess a huge variety in his arsenals. He is often credited to have bowled an over in which each of the six balls would be different from the previous one, juggling with flight, length, and spin. His international career was, however, cut short due to a lot of internal team politics. He took 88 wickets in his 35 tests, with the best of seven wickets for 27 runs. He took 66 wickets in one day international with the best of 4 wickets for 22 runs. He is now mostly regarded for his dismissal in the Midras test resulting in a tie against Australia in 1986-87 series. Maninder Singh however retired from the active cricket but he is still on the scene as a cricket expert. In the third match of the Champions Trophy at Sharjah on October 19, 1988, he took the 3 for 47 against Pakistan. Let's watch his bowling and wickets. That's a good shot. Delayed that. Found the gap. That could go through for four it is. Will they come back for the second? Yes, they will. Pakistan batsman averaging four or five runs every over. There's Nabil for a caught behind. And the wicket keeper came running down. Maninder a little disappointed. Meadat standing his ground and we'll watch the replay soon. Here's money going into ball. And me and others shape to cut that ball, late cut that ball. There's very little you can tell from the action of replay, which we've seen. And this time he gets his late cut, it's running down the third man, it's going to be four arms. Four to Meadat, 66 for two. Very delicately late cut there. Another square cut. This time it's going to be four to the third man boundary. Four more to Meadat, and he's cutting loose. Some superb stroke play. End of the over. And Pakistan now seventh. Are they facing Maninda. There comes the big hit, it's up in the air, he could be. And he's caught him, has he? Yes. A fine catch by Kapil Dev. A really spectacular catch. He jumped right up and caught it when his feet were still up in the air. A spectacular catch by him. There you see Kadir going for the big one. Didn't quite get hold of it. And Kapil has caught it well within the boundary ropes. You just see the hands of Kapil there bobbing up above the heads of the spectators as they rose. And a very good catch indeed. Let's watch it again. Now watch for a pair of hands above the heads of the spectators. There he is. Very good catch. And that's his 100, a late cut, a very delicate one, and what a marvelous way to reach one's 100. A 
classical shot, played very late and very fine, a superb hundred from him, 100. Anticipation of a big hit, some applause. He's down the wicket and he's gone. Clean bowl, missed it down the leg side. Quicker delivery from Manimba, well bowled Manimba. And this time it's the Indian supporters cheering. So a game of fluctuating fortunes enjoyed by both camps in the best of spirit. There's an appeal by Cat behind and he's gone. Uh, trying to late cut once again. He's out caught behind and Maninda has struck a vital blow which has switched balance of this game definitely towards India. Two wickets in that over. From Manindar he had uh, Wasim, Wasim Akram stranded down the leg side and bowled him. A very good innings. And uh, unfortunately for Pakistan he's got out just when it was required for him to stay at the trees. Here you can see Maninder. Nicely stayed. but effective. Asher Adin down there has done some valiant work during this innings because as we've said to you, the sweep shot has been king out there. And poor Asher has been sprinting up and down that, that backward square leg boundary. His arm has been good and accurate. Yes, he got a hold of it. Very well played. Again, Melinda Singh's line shifts down outside next to and he pays the price. Four runs to Salim Yusuf, 45th over. Nicely placed. Despite an abortive comeback in the early 90s when he just separately experimented with his falling action, like Lakshman Shiva Ramakrishnan, has come to the epitome's unfulfilled promise. His enduring place in the game's history is unlikely to be as a match winner spinner, but rather as Greg Matthews' final victim in the second tight test match in 1986-87. Few controversies also associated with Maninder Singh. On 22nd May 2007, Maninder was questioned by police for possession of cocaine and he confessed to using cocaine for himself. It is alleged that they found 1.5 grams of cocaine in his residence in East Delhi, sold to him by a Nigerian national the police had been following. Maninder Singh though denied the charges, but in 2012 he was acquitted for the charges. On June 8, 2007, Maninder Singh was admitted to Shanti Mukhand Hospital in Delhi with injuries to his wrist. His wife has issued a statement saying that it was purely an accident. However, local TV channels have speculated that it could be the result of a fake suicide attempt or even a domestic incident. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.